This is calculator question number 10 from the 2019 SAT in April. College Board gives us a paragraph about Jonathan's work hours and income, and they say he wants to earn at least $175 and work at most 20 hours. He makes $10 per hour at lawn service and $8 per hour at the gym. L is his hours of lawn service and G is his hours at his job at the gym. So if it's $10 per hour, for lawn service, and that's L hours, that would be 10L, which is the expression we see in all four questions. They're not swapping the L coefficient with the G coefficient, which they will sometimes do. If he works, eight, earns $8 per hour at the gym, and gym is G, that would be 8G, which we also see. So the sum of the 10L for his earnings for the lawn service and the 8G for his earnings at the gym would be his total earnings, and we're told he wants to earn at least 175. So 10L plus 8G should be greater than or equal to 175, not less than or equal to A and B are wrong. C, 10L plus 8G greater than or equal to D. L plus G, that's his hours working the lawn service plus his hours working the gym. Total hours worked, they're saying is at least 175, which is supposed to be total income. Besides which, working 175 hours in a week would be quite a challenge. So choice D is wrong. The only answer left is C. The second inequality in choice C was L plus G less than or equal to 20. And we said, he can work at most 20 hours, and L plus G is his hours worked, and this inequality says less than or equal to, which is the same as at most 20 hours. So choice C correctly matches this word problem for a system of inequalities. College Board very often asks you to write a system of inequalities from a paragraph, and I have a whole playlist of similar questions that you can look at. Come back soon for my next math video, with math there's always more.